In this lecture, we will discuss about the IPR issues in commercial plant breeding. IPR or intellectual property right is the right of inventor to take economic benefit from his invention or intellectual property. Any other person cannot take benefit. Improved varieties of crops are developed by plant breeders by their hard working of many years. Hence, these varieties must be considered as intellectual property of plant breeders. The plant breeder right program was first established in 1987 under the Plant Variety Right Act, which was succeeded by the current Plant Breeder Right Act 1994. Plant breeder rights are also known as plant variety rights which are intellectual property rights granted to the breeder of a new variety of plant. Plant breeder rights are exclusive commercial rights for a registered variety of plant. It protect plant breeders and give them a commercial monopoly for a fixed period of time. Now, why plant breeder rights are required? They allow the breeders to have a return of the investment. They protect the breeders work. They stimulate development of new varieties. When does PBRs apply? They apply during reproduction or multiplication to limit or control the propagation by others during offering for sale during selling or other marketing, during exporting from the community, during importing to the community, during stocking for any of the purposes mentioned, when the purposes are private and non-commercial application only for experimental use and for breeding, during discovering and developing other varieties. To get plant breeder rights, the variety should be new or with commercial novelty. It should be distinct or clearly different from other varieties. Uniform, it means homogeneous and stable, it means remain unchanged during reproduction. Rights protected under PBRs are rights for commercial seed production, rights for marketing, rights to export and import, rights of authorization, rights to prevent infringement. Infringement is unauthorized production and marketing of a registered variety by other person. Features of plant breeder rights includes registration, duration, validity, matters covered, requirements, transfer, control, and enforcements. Advantages of PBRs includes protecting the breeder's work, breeders get benefit of their variety, PBR help in faster development of seed industry, PBR lead to improvement in quality because of competition, and PBR help in enrichment of genetic resources. Disadvantages of PBRs includes it will promote monopoly, it may lead to increase in prices, there will be reduction in genetic variability and there will be compulsion to purchase fresh seed every year. Plant variety protection provides legal protection of a plant variety to a breeder in the form of PBR. The effect of PBR is that prior authorization is required before the material can be used for commercial purposes. In 1961, UPOV or Union for Protection of Plant Varieties conference was held in Paris in which the member countries agreed to adopt uniform laws for the protection of plant breeder rights. UPOV Act was enacted in 1978 
which was modified in 1991 nationals of one member country have rights in other member countries UPOV is an intergovernmental organization based in Geneva, Switzerland. The mission of UPOV is to provide and promote an effective system of plant variety protection with the aim of encouraging the development of new varieties of plants for the benefit of society.